Aloha guys, welcome to JRTV. We are entering into the world of health and wellness for the planet and ourselves. And I'm going to be going doing a little breakdown on health products. And you know, this is a quite a nice neighborhood on the Kailua Lani Kai site of uh, the island of Oahu. I'm going to check out down to earth here. We're going to Pardon. Going to so this it says a lama malama ika aina e ola pono cherish the land live in health and harmony. So how do we do that on a practical level? I'm gonna discuss costs. Make ten points about costs and my opinions on different food products. So, organic or not, it's worth looking into, doing some research on whether organic is better or not. I, I think often, I think it means like no pesticides are used or they are using organic foods, I think. For some food, like I only eat, I basically eat cabbage, carrots, and celery. That's, I think, the lowest cost, but kind of richest packed foods. Like there are other foods like kale, which you can, which you can add to a blender, and you can do, you can do like a smoothie with if you if you add it to oatmeal, uh, cooked oatmeal. Uh, or even raw oatmeal, it'll it'll kind of hydrify once you put it in. Uh, but I, so that's that's my first and second points. My first point is organic isn't necessarily needed. My second point is is to you know make smoothies with kale and make the base uh, cooked brown rice or cooked oatmeal because it adds a lot of nut uh, nutrition to it and so you don't have to get all this expensive packed nutrition. I mean there are a lot of opinions on on things like like diet and health and you know raw vegan and just juicing and all these things. I, I do see value in fasting but my way here's my way of fasting. I have a I have an active lifestyle and when I'm hungry, you know, I want to eat. But oftentimes during lunchtime, I'm not hungry, so I just keep working. Maybe take a brief break, but I find that it's easier to, like in Japan, they work four 10 hour days instead of five eight hour days. You know, it adds up. But I, I want to kind of take a look at all this, all this stuff, get a feel for these things. Like, for example, even stuff like popcorn, like you can get it. Oh wow, the multicolored is actually less costly than the other, isn't that strange? But um, you know, you can usually get this stuff less costly at like almost half the price at Walmart and so it'd be be worth looking into that. Well, like why is that? Why why, you know, can you get navy beans and 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 uh split peas for like a, a dollar a pound at that Walmart and um you know, definitely definitely worth putting into question. Notice there, everything's pre-packaged because you know how you used to be able to pack because to, for COVID. Um, it's good that people are trying to be careful. But let's let's kind of look around. Like chips, for example. This is going to be point four. Chips, a lot of times they have unhealthy oils. The only oil I consider healthy are coconut and olive oil. And, and so chips... You know, you gotta realize, even if they're vegan, you know, it's not necessarily healthy. Um, and what else do we have? Um, when you, uh, you know, always remember to avoid any soy products because they promote estrogen production and they're just not healthy. But alternatives to that, it's funny, it says keep it fake. Like you can eat expensive vegan foods and they have like vegan sausages you can make, you know, Italian like pastas and different things with. Here's the thing, um, you, you know, you want to eat, 
you want to eat a lot of food um, before having these gourmet treats so that you feel full but then you still get a little bit of gourmet after so eat like a bunch of rice then have the gourmet you know what I mean and I'm looking for a specific item I wonder if they have it here I'm, I'm gonna be the item is chia seeds the chia seeds are brilliant in that you can they're inexpensive you can add them to you know you can add them to just uh, like a fruit juice and by the way all fruit juices should probably be diluted somewhat but yeah you can add them to fruit juice and consequently they they uh, they hydrolyze, hydrolyze and and they're just perfect you know quick inexpensive and, and good so here's the thing remember silk or I mean soy, watch out for soy. Also all this stuff, you can see how expensive it is. Use normally six, seven dollars. Um, at, at Whole Foods they have better pricing on that. I don't know why there's such a price discrepancy. I'll, I'll do some more research into that. Uh, let's see. But yeah, all this stuff, all this stuff is, it can be quite costly. So I almost recommend like, you know, maybe you could get like a a large one and just pour like little shot glass of it that's that's another trick I use for for you know all those like green super green like I'll do little shots of them and even for stuff like nuts I'll put them in a, a little shot glass so that it feels like a meal like you can make yourself a smaller portion and still be satisfied if you make yourself a you know a a small portion on a big plate then you might not be as satisfied but uh, continuing on along here, I think I've already hit like six points. I want to, I do want to hit a few more. Um, remember, it's there's always a question of like what, what type of what you know. Part of the whole situation here is what should we support? You know, what what companies, organizations, and the initial manufacturers should we be supportive of? And and so I, I want to I want to say that there are different types of products. One of them, one of them are products that, that last a long time. They have a long shelf life, so in that way they're they're a better value. By the way, I recommend this stuff uh, also to use it for the uh, genitalia and uh, nipples because it, it helps to and all, a, a minimum olive oil or coconut oil, just something that's not necessarily coconut oil because it doesn't have a real thickness to it like I even use vegetable oil on my skin or on my feet and they just last all day the stuff smells badly so you can only use it in like work clothing that that if you're in a work environment where it doesn't matter if you smell badly but continuing on I want to show you guys what I bought today I got this stuff called Jason strengthening this is looks like the replacement for the old uh, product that I used to use, but the keyword is strengthening. And once you use this product, you'll you'll realize how how valuable it is. All right. So. Oh, and by the way, on a side note, I think uh, single women should shave their hair short because because it um, it's it, it's meant to make them look attractive, and you know you don't want to look attractive to the wrong people and be distracted and you should only I think grow your you know grow your hair out when you when you are married and try to be sex a little sexy and show off and another thing is concerning vitamins like yeah B complex vitamin multivitamin and then it, which is taken after breakfast and then some calcium supplements taken after dinner um, remember to take calcium separately because it interferes with the absorption but a lot of this stuff and a lot of all these products and all this stuff, it, it does it doesn't, it's not very, I mean, maybe you have one that you've used and you really are like, yes, uh, John or JR, look into this. But I find generally all this stuff is, is a bit of a, like, just placebo effect, like, oh, it's healthy, I'll take it, you know. But be aware of, maybe you have, you know, especially vegans, you know, 
certain things you can't get from um, the, the, the collection of vegan food available, or if you do, it's in expensive stuff like berries, and instead you want to get it in less costly, like um, nutritional, um, you know, supplement formats. So, yeah, thanks for considering, guys, uh, ch you know, checking out the store with me. Uh, and remember, even in, like, veggie burgers and... Oh, there's, there can be a lot of soy, so try to avoid soy. And try to avoid, like, um, vegetable oil and all that. And just remember, just with a simple... You know, just with a simple... olive oil and sea salt ground up. Remember, regular salt is not good. You gotta grind uh, raw sea salt. Um, you know, to make an alternative for butter and everything. Um, and, and you remember, even breads aren't that healthy, but I think some bread can be enjoyable. And, and most importantly, just drinking lots of water, even if you eat vegan foods that are not so healthy, you can you can drink lots of water and it kind of dilutes it all you know and you can eat celery for example along with vegan ice cream and it kind of dilutes the sweetness of it um, you know like eat it on the side just like people smell coffee before smelling different products like you neutralize the palate and you can you can do that with other things too um, you can neutralize the palate with... Uh, and by the way, the soap. You want to take cold showers so the soap doesn't go into you. And this stuff's always better, I find. Uh, this type of Castile soap. And remember, you also want to scrub with a scrubby. Where, wherever they might be, somewhere in the store. Scrubby. And remember to clean the tongue. And use extra, extremely soft brushes. But yeah, glad, glad to be sh expressing all this with you uh, today. I've had a fun little uh, browsing session. Thanks for joining me. Aloha.